One thing that just kind of hit me now is, has anybody thought, even for a second, how many children are out there in the Gulf? And what's happening to them? Clearly, all of the parents of these children are stressed to the fucking mass. Do you think you can even be a good parent once you're stressed? That is not to go against any parent that's out there that are trying to do their best and are stressed out. I know from experience that when society, when our environment stressed me out to the max, I know without a doubt I was not the best parent that I could be. I was doing my best while trying to fight a lot of very negative energy. And that very experience did a lot of harm to my children. That is why some of them are repeating the same habits. Because while we aren't looking at them, trust that our children are watching us. They are learning everything about life. They are learning about religion and how religion is saying we are looking forward to this Armageddon. They are watching how to react to problems, so they will react to problems exactly the same way as you do. They are watching what government is doing, and then they will repeat it because they're learning by example what, what government looks like. We are not seeing government do anything healthy for its people, so we're teaching our children how not to be good representatives. We are not teaching our children love for each other. We are not teaching children how to solve problems because no problems are being solved. We are teaching children how to pollute. While they look at all of this that's going bad and they know it's bad, they're learning how not to give a shit because most of the people on the planet aren't given a shit. They're looking at money talks. M money is the way to go. So they're going to end up learning by that experience and learning how to profit as much as they can. They're not seeing anybody happy while living in poverty, so they won't go to that direction. So I'm just... Uh, putting a video out there, a short one. Let's think about these children. Let's send them some love. Let's stop saying the world is going to fall apart because that's going to do so much harm for our children. They will get depressed. They will learn anger. And that's not good. We need to show these children some love. We need to show these children that the globe really does care. If you're religious, say something that makes them feel good about the future and not that this is going to destroy the whole fucking planet because that is not good for our kids to hear. We need to start talking that God's going to show up. God's going to solve all those problems. God helps those who help themselves. We need to start helping ourselves, and then we need to set the example of what it's like to help ourselves. We can't sit around and just wait for somebody to save us. We've got to save ourselves. And we can't save ourselves through war, through violence. Every one of these people that are trying to work on that golf they are trying to earn their living too but they are your neighbors do not fight your neighbors try to communicate with love with your neighbors and tell them you need to get out there and start cleaning this up and be the force show up in numbers don't just talk about cleaning it up don't just wait for this million dollar contract before you start doing any work get out there Start getting hundreds of thousands of people behind you and say, enough, and we're cleaning this up. Are you going to stop all of us? 
do not be the violence. Send love to those who want to stop you, but say, I'm going to do this anyways. There are more than enough scientists on this planet. Every problem has a solution. This is not destructive, no matter what the level, even if it's a volcano. There is a way of stopping that. I know it without doubt that there's a way of stopping it. But we're not able to receive that information because we're too busy fighting. We're too busy being stressed. Trust in solutions. But you can only see solutions if you have love and peace inside you. It is more important if you cannot do that for yourself, if you cannot do that for your community, at least do that for these children. These children must be stressed. And they've got all of that toxin, this dispersants that are doing so much harm to their health that we need to start thinking about our children. We need to start cleaning those beaches up, but we have to start from the source. Cure the causes and you'll cure all problems. That volcano is solvable. God will show up when we show up, but not through war and anger. War and anger has never solved anything throughout the history of man. Try love and peace, but peace and love by numbers has power. That's my advice. Think of the kids.